let's catch this one too. Oh, I bobbed your head, sorry. Wait, you're not a sturgeon, or are you? Huh, we'll never know. You're also not a sturgeon. Stop pretending. Yes! Hello and welcome everyone! Yeah, yesterday I found out a little trick on how to force spawn fish. And I thought you might be interested. So let's take a look at it together. So, but let's change into a more comfortable outfit. Let's go to Benny Bunny! Yay! <laughs> ah, it never ceases to amaze me. So, and as you can see here, I already caught a few sturgeons and uh, yeah, uh, I kind of went overboard there. They're kind of making a little queue to the shop because they want to be sold. They whispered that in my ear. What's going on? I don't want you to go. Ah, better. Oh, and by the way, if you're watching this in between April and August, you're not able to find the sturgeon. But the southern hemisphere might be able to find them. So, you may need to resort to time travel, or you must be patient until September. Time travel is pretty easy. Just go into the system settings, and then go down to system, date and time, and then turn this off, and you can change your time. But only do this when your game is closed. Otherwise, the game won't update, and you still won't be able to find a sturgeon. So, what we are doing now, we want to buy a Nook Miles ticket. What are you doing? Ah, do what you want. To maximize our chances, we need to visit a random island, which is the most common one, and for that we need a Nook Miles ticket. So, we'll buy one right now. Oh, before I forget, we also held another drawing contest, and because I liked it so much, I'm also going to show you place number two, which is by Yuma, this nice Twilight Princess picture. Ah. And here we have place number one by Derp Draws. Ah. Just wonderful. I love it. Okay, but let's go on. Make sure you have enough space in your inventory, so drop off any items you may not need. So like the slingshot, the watering can, and the star wand. If you're curious about the star wand, I also got a video about that. Ah, we changed back. Ah. So let's hope the first island he gives us is the right one. Ah, looking good. Yes, this is the right island. So this is like the typical one, where you get like 50% of the time. And you may collect everything you like, but uh, I'm going for the sturgeon now. So, switch into this camera perspective. It gives you a better view of everything. And what you want to do is you want to scare away some fishes. If the top part is occupied, also make sure to scare away those fishes. Now, let's scare away those. Those. And we'll use the vaulting pole. If you got a lake like me, make sure to also scare away those fishes. And this little trick is far more easier on an island without this lake. So if you have enough nook miles, make sure to visit an island without this. Then you can catch them in like uh, 30 seconds each. Of course there would be bees. Uh, wasps. So now we got a better view of everything. You want to make sure that the river looks like this. If it looks like this, there's like an 80% chance that you'll have a sturgeon over there. And wouldn't you know it, we got a sturgeon. So let's try to fish him up. Ah, a first spider. Those are the most difficult ones. And there you go. There is a sturgeon. We'll try it a few more times. And the next one. Number two.
and number three. should be enough for now to show you that it works. So here we got our five sturgeons. Caught in like eight minutes. Oh wait, 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 wait. Ah, just the best. So how does this four spawning trick work? The way fishes spawn, as soon as a body of water is off screen, it will spawn fish. So we got a little lake here, now we go off screen. We go back, and here you got three little fishies. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. How comes the sturgeon spawns this way? And because we are occupying this whole area, and nothing can spawn here, the game is forced to spawn something in the river mouth. And that's why we are getting the sturgeon over here. Also, the reaction time for rare fish is quite small. So let me give you a little trick. What I do is, I close my eyes, so I can only concentrate on the sound the fish makes. Then, I, I, may, I know this may sound strange, then I take a deep breath and slowly breathe out. And during that time, I'm completely ready for him to bite. Something else to note, as you can see, the bodies of water are completely empty. Now I go down, and it will be off screen. But there still won't be any fish. The game only spawns in fish when you move to the left or the right. So we'll try that. And here you can see the sturgeons I already caught. In about an hour. Yeah, uh, I think it works. <laughs> I'm not sure. And uh, they are now waiting in line to be sold. At Luke's Credi. Ah, those lucky ones. Yeah, and this little sturgeon here whispered into my ear that he'll grant me a wish when I free him. So I'm going to sell him first. So let's see what he is worth. That little fricker. Ten thousand bells? Hmm. Not too shabby. Yeah. Sold. Goodbye. Maybe those two will let you free, but uh, I highly doubt it. Yeah, and that's it. I hope you had fun watching this video. If so, please consider liking or subscribing. And keep in mind that the sturgeons only appear in the next three days. Then they are gone until September. So have a good day, morning or evening, or a good night. Until then. Bye. Going to sell you all. Uh, I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> hmm. How many are you? Hmm, Sixteen. Ah, it's all right. <sighs> Stupid game. What's up with you? Ah, because of that little fricker. Hey, fricker. Go away. So it looks like this. And then you want to go to the river mouth. And as you can see, there is a big fish. So, let's try to fish him up. Yeah, and there you got your sturgeon. <laughs>